During a trip to Eastern Europe, I had the opportunity to spend a weekend in Slovenia visiting both commercial and wild caves in the part of the world where the term karst originated. Slovenia has more than 12,000 documented caves. That's more than Tennessee, despite being one-fifth the size. They also have seven caves that are more than a thousand meters deep. I stayed in the capital of Ljubljana and visited several caves in the limestone regions west of the city. Postona Yama is one of the most famous caves in the world. It's the second longest cave in Slovenia at 15 miles and is amazingly well decorated. To get from the entrance area to the tour area, you take an underground train back into the mountain for more than two miles. Postoina Cave is home to one of the best known and largest cave adapted salamanders, the Proteus or Olm. The Skochan Caves are also very well known. The Reka River runs into a cave entrance at the base of a massive limestone cliff, then through two dolines and into an enormous underground river canyon where it eventually sumps. There's a loop tour of the cave that goes in a man-made upper entrance, through a well-decorated gallery, along the wall of the river canyon, and exits out the bottom of the doline. I met cavers in the Society for Cave Exploration, Ljubljana, and we drove to Triglav National Park to visit a cave on the Pokol Yukut Plateau. Euclidova Piscal, or Euclid's Flute, was first discovered by U.S. caver Matt Covington when he was doing postdoctoral work in Slovenia. It is now more than 500 meters deep and several kilometers long. We pushed a lead in an ongoing effort to connect it to another large cave on the far side of the mountain. Due to the location and time of year, much of the entrance series was coated with ice, and lower down, several of the rope pitches were extremely wet from snow melt.